Hello, uh, is this the IRS? That's correct. I said to call this number if uh, it just said that I had committed a fraud or something. All right, sir. So uh, do you have a case number with you? And no, it didn't give me a case number. It just said that I was going to be arrested and I should call this number back. You know, we have to go some uh, some kind of veri uh, verification process, and the guideline says that you have to verify your name and your mailing address. And if you provide us your valid name and valid uh, you know address, we will be able to help you further with your case file. But you said you're gonna issue a warrant for me and come to my house if you don't have my address. How are you gonna do that? So, like, how long do I have, you know, to get this taken care of before I would get arrested? Oh, you have today. Who will this? Is that like 24 hours, so tomorrow at this time, or is it until midnight tonight? You know, so, uh, till, uh, not midnight, so, um, till our, you know, till our shift is over, till, uh, you know, uh, what can I say, um, till our working hours is over. And who would, who would actually be coming to arrest me? Is it IRS, or how do you do that? Sir, we, you know, we will download your arrest warrant to your local sheriff department, and from that department, so they will do uh, what's required to do. So the sheriff's department will arrest me at what? What do you say, six or six thirty, your time? No, sir. Uh, yes, in our time, six to six thirty. And if my department decided to do that, if my superior decided, you know, to uh, you know uh, proceed further with legal actions against you. Okay. So can I just go to my local um, IRS office and and do this? Well, sir, at this point of time, I'm really sorry to say, you know, because your local IRS office don't have your case file anymore. Your case file has been handed to us because you have been uh, investigated by our department. They don't have your paperwork in your local IRS. Okay, but none of that's electronically? Everything, you guys do everything by, by hand, by paper? No, so they do have, they do have electronically. Okay, so if I call them, they can at least clarify that you're the right guy I should be talking to and that this number's okay and then we will um, give you a call back and we'll get things straightened out. And just, uh, you can just clarify only the numbers because uh, most probably they won't know who's handling your case, okay? Because uh, in the headquarter of the investigation department, sir, uh, we don't quite know each other with the local IRS office. Well, I can like tell you my name, I can tell you my uh, badge number if you want to. Sure, can you tell me your name and your badge number, please? All right, this is James Maxwell, and I'm holding a batch number of ML05045012121. That's my batch number, sir. Okay, can you go ahead again with that, uh, with with your badge number and your name, and then I'll, I'll give you a call back in a little bit. This is James Johnson. I thought you said it was Dave Maxwell last time. Well, James Maxwell Johnson, sir. Okay, well, how do I know this isn't a scam? Because I see all those things on the news that, you know, that the IRS won't won't call you, that they're just going to send you a letter. So there are some terms and policies that the IRS is following, right? We actually do not, you know, uh, make phone calls or send emails or faxes, but in some emergency commission, we do make phone calls so that we have a direct contact with the taxpayer. The Oak Creek County Sheriff's Office does not receive information from the IRS on warrants for citizens based on phone calls like this. This is truly a scam. Sir, I am saying because you know I am working for my department.